Now, the language we're going to be using to create our applications here in Android is going to be Java. So Java is a programming language that has been used for years right now. So it's what we call an object-oriented programming language. That particular distinction, object-oriented programming language, will become more apparent at a later time. Now, for this reason, we need to understand the fundamentals of the Java programming. So there's different ways in which we can actually write Java programming languages. We can install the JDK and all those tools that would allow us to create Java programs. But the beauty here is that within Android Studio, when we install Android Studio tool here, it also came with a version of Java Development Kit. So we are going to utilize that to our advantage as opposed to having to set everything up in our computer. Of course, I can show you later if you wish to do so how to install the JDK Java Development Kit and set up the paths and everything in your computers. But for simplicity here, we're just going to go straight on and use the tool that we already have to start learning Java. Okay. Now notice here the Android Java is a subset of the actual Java programming languages, right? So the Android engineers, when they use the Java language, leveraging the Java native language to create the Android system. Okay. Everything where we build in this case in Android is going to be in Java. All right, so how do we create a Java project using Android Studio? It's very simple. I already have the previous application open here, right? Even if you didn't have, that would also work. To create a Java program in Android Studio, we'll have to create a module. So what we need to do, let's open this project here. In this case, I'm gonna go back to project. So this is what probably you're gonna be able to see. Uh, when you open our project here. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and say File. I'm going to say New Project, or I can go and say New Module. Let's go ahead and say New Module. So New Module, like that. And the moment you do that, you have this wizard that says New Module, and has all sort of things here, right? But what we want really is this Java library module we're going to be creating. So let's click on that and say Next. And now we can configure this module, this little a compartment, if you will, of this bigger Android project that we're creating here. Okay, so now I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to say learn Java. We can give it any name we want. We can edit the package, but that's fine. We can just leave as it is. And here it asks us to add a Java class name. So each Java file that we create has to have a class name, right? Where we're going to have then inside an entry point and so forth. So we're going to just leave as my class and I'm going to say finish. It will take a few seconds and you notice that it was created without any issues. Now it's tough to see here where do we go to actually see that module that contains Java. The easiest way is click here at the top and say project. We want to go to packages. The moment you go to packages, it shows now we have this other package called learn Java, which is the Java module we just created. And inside we have this directory, which is a package per se, right? It has the reverse name, c.bop.learnjava. And most importantly, we have this my class. But also notice if we click on libraries there, it has all sort of things. It's JDK, JavaFX, JavaX, Java, and all sort of things. All right, so those are the libraries that come with Android Studio. These are Java libraries, which are going to aid our my class here. Very good. So if I double click this, then we will see our public class, my class there. Let me get rid of all of the actual Android things that we don't need. So now we're going to focus on our Java. So as you can see here, we have a class. So this is how every Java project or file must have, right? So this one here, we're saying this is a class and we have a name called my class. So this could be any name we want. But as you saw before, we decided just to leave it as my class. Now for every Java class or entry point class, we have to have the actual entry point method. So we have to write something, some code inside here, which will become apparent once we learn more about functions and methods. So for now, you can say PSV like that. So PSV is just a shortcut that will create a main method declaration for our Java. Now, if you just go ahead and say enter and voila, it's a public static void main and it has all these other stuff inside, which we're not very interested in right now because we just want to understand how to create our Java project here and run something.
All right. So now we have our class. Well, we've already had our class. And now inside of this class, we have this method, which is called the main method. The reason why it's the main method is because this is the main entry point. So every Java class has to have a main entry point. All right. So inside here is where we can write code that will run. So if I say uh, system dot out dot print ln like that, then I can pass in a string. So anything inside of quotes is going to be a string. So just text. I can say the infamous hello world like that. If you save now, how do we run this program here? Because it has to be run in order for us to see what is going to be print out in our console. Well, we have a few ways to do this. At the top here, you should have an option, right? It says here, my class. So if you don't see this, you should just drill in here and click on my class, right? You can go ahead and say run. But in other case, you can actually just come at the top here, click on this at the top and say run my class that main method function there, right? If you click on that, you should see it says hello world. And voila. Now we know our Java module here, our Java class is working. So what we learned here, we learned how to create a first Java program and run a very simple system out hello world. Very good. Now what I want you to do before you go to the next video is to add other system out, other prints if you want inside of our main. And remember, it has to be inside of this void main method in order for it to run because the compiler is going to look when it enters this file, it's going to go through class and then it's going to look at the main and then whatever's inside that is indeed what's going to be run. Okay, so put another system out here and see what will show here. All right, perfect. I'll see you next.